It's amazing. I can't believe it actually worked. I hope I don't break it. I love the colors. <laughs> Yay. This is very colorful. <laughs> Today we have another fun video. We're going to monoprint or gel print our photos onto unusual and unique surfaces instead of paper. <laughs> if you've seen my previous videos, you've seen me gel printing or monoprinting my photos onto paper, fabric, and even my journal. But today we're going to photo transfer or gel print or monoprint onto other surfaces. We're going to print onto wood. We're going to try to print on canvas. And I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to try to gel print onto glass. Okay, let's start. Let's see if it actually works. So the first unusual surface we're going to try to monoprint on is wood. I'm going to monoprint onto this piece of craft wood. And if you want, you can prime the wood before using it. You can prime it with gesso or white paint. And the reason you might want to prime the wood is that the primed wood seem to yield brighter colors. But anyway, I'm not going to prime the wood today. In order to monoprint our photo, we're going to use a gel plate. You can purchase the gel plate or make your own. If you want to learn how to make your own, there's a link to that video below. And by the way, there are links to all the supplies I'm using today below this video. Next, we need colorful acrylic paints. And I'm going to spread the paints using a brayer. So right now we're basically making the background for the photo. And obviously you can skip this step if you don't want a colorful background. Next I'm going to make some marks in the paint using my homemade stamps. And I'm also using a stencil. Okay, so now I'm placing the wood face down into the wet paint. And it's a good idea to use a clean brayer to apply pressure and help the paint transfer to the wood. So yes, it looks like most of the paint transferred from the gel plate to the wood. So now I'm going to let the paint completely dry before transferring my photo over it. And since this is acrylic paint, it only takes a few minutes to dry. Okay, so now it's time for the interesting part and we're going to transfer the photo. We need to print our photo using a laser printer on a standard printer paper. You can use a color photo, but black and white, which has a nice contrast, works better. Since we have a colorful background, I need to use a dark color for the photo. So I'm going to use black Amsterdam paint. And again, I'm spreading the paint over the gel plate using a brayer, or some people call it a roller. And I'm placing my photo face down onto the wet paint. And we got a good impression of the photo in the paint. So now I'm going to place the wood over the photo. And hopefully the photo will transfer onto the painted background. And like I did before, I'm using a clean brayer to help the photo transfer to the wood. Yes, it seems like we got a good transfer.
Yay! This is very colorful. <laughs> and if you want to learn how to gel print your own photos like I do, be sure to check out my online classes. They are fun and easy and they're ongoing, which means you can sign up anytime you want and take them when you're ready. So if you're interested, there are links to the online classes below this video. And I hope I'll see you there soon. Next, we're going to print on a canvas board, like this one. After testing the canvas, which is quite porous, I concluded it needs to be primed. As you can see here, the photo on the right transferred to the canvas is not as clear as the one transferred onto paper. So it will be necessary to prime the canvas before trying the transfer. You can prime the canvas with gel medium like I did here on the top. Here in the middle I primed it with glue. And you can also prime it with varnish, which this is what I used at the bottom section. It seems to me like the varnish worked the best, so this is what I'm going to use. And now I'm going to wait for it to completely dry. And if you like this video, it will be great if you like it and subscribe. I make these type of videos every week and you don't want to miss one. It will be great to see you again. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm going to monoprint my photo. And again, this is a laser photo. And this time I'm going to use a larger gel plate, which is 8x10. I love how it turned out. <laughs> and finally, as promised, I'm going to try transferring onto glass. <laughs> this would be crazy if it actually works. I hope it doesn't break. <laughs> I don't want seven years of bad luck. <laughs> And for this transfer, I'm going to use dark purple. It's amazing, I can't believe it actually worked. This 
This was so much fun. I always enjoy testing new ideas. When I had the idea to monoprint on unusual surfaces, I was thinking something like wood. I didn't expect it to work on glass. So I'm so happy it worked. This was so much fun. And I think I said it already. <laughs> I guess it's hard for me to get over the fact that it actually works. It was okay on canvas and on the glass, but I think the wood is my favorite surface. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I hope I'll see you soon in one of my online classes. Print our photos onto another... <laughs> our photos into... <laughs> okay, enough. <laughs> Can't really see it, it's too blurry. They are layered. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> I know, you can see it's wood. <laughs> this is what wood looks like. <laughs> see you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more like this, click here. And I'll see you next time.